Welcome everybody to the session, uh, tsunami session of international workshop on active tectonic and seismic of aging region with special emphasis on the summer surface track on 30 October 2020. Uh, and uh, today's uh, schedule, we have five uh, presentations. Each presentation will be 20 minutes the uh, participants can ask questions in five minutes after the after each presentation. And I uh, would like to start uh, with the third presentation. And I would like to uh, give a brief introduction about the presenter. The presentation title is Japanese Experience of Tsunami Hazard from Assessment to Preparedness, Role of Tsunami Engineering Laboratory in Tohoku University, Japan. Uh, presenter, Professor Dr. Kumitsujiko Imamura is a faculty member and currently the director of International Research Institute of Disaster Science and in the Tokyo University in Japan. He is an expert on science and technology for tsunami mitigation, tsunami engineering, tsunami warning, and numerical modeling of tsunamis. He has been working on these subjects for more than 35 years. Ima Professor Imamura is one of the 20, 2020 holders of Hamaguchi Award given by Japan Ministry of Land Infrastructure, Transportation and Tourism. And uh, it is an in international award and it is given to the individuals, organizations that have made significant scientific or pragmatic contributions to the enhancement of coastal resilience against tsunami storm surge and other coastal disasters. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce Professor Imamura for his presentation. Here, Professor Imamura, stage is yours. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Hamad Yaritina, uh, and all. Uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon in Japan. So I'm very pleased to join the session uh, related with the tsunami. Uh, so I'm going to present my talk uh, by using the my slide. So now I'm going to uh, share the slide. Can you see the slide? Y yes, Professor. Okay, so let, let me start my talk about the Japanese ex experiences on tsunami hazard assessment uh, for the preparedness. I a little bit uh, change a little bit title and the role of the Tsunami Engineering Laboratory in Tohoku University. So in the beginning, I would like to introduce the uh, one international project of the uh, time, Tsunami Inundation Modeling Exchange. It was uh, started in 1991. Tohoku University, especially Tsunami Engineering Laboratory, started to de develop the tsunami modeling uh, for the assessment or making the hazard map in uh, 1980, almost uh, 40 years ago. The tsunami symposium was held uh, in 1989. We proposed a new project of the time uh, to the IOC and IUGG uh, conference uh, to the transfer the technology of the tsunami modeling. It is called the Tsunami Tokyo University Numerical Analysis Model for the Inundation uh, for making the a manual for the simulation and the hazard map and training and uh, conducting the course and inviting the uh, scientist engineer uh, to transfer the technologies. So we started the, this project. Uh, as far uh, as, as of the uh, last year, uh, the, you can see the area we transfer the tsunami code to the many countries uh, to cover the tsunami prone areas. So now uh, 24 countries, uh, countries and 48 institutes. So let's start the topics of the 2011 uh, Tohoku earthquake tsunami. Uh, 10 years uh, passed since then. The first three earthquake happened offshore the Sendai and Tohoku uh, in uh, around, sorry, uh, around here. So the magnitude was exceed 
the 9.0 almost, and it's fourth largest in, uh, earthquake in the world. Still, we have the aftershocks uh, until now. So it is a very big earthquake and followed by the tsunami. Uh, Japanese government, uh, Japan Metropolitan Agency, issued a warning whenever earthquake happen in the coastal area. At the time, also uh, JMA issued a tsunami uh, within three minutes uh, to the people in the coastal area. Tsunami arrived to the coast, coastal area uh, almost 20 or 30 minutes and the tsunami affected this area in Japan and also affecting to the other country in Pacific Ocean. Uh, it continued for two days. A uh, warning was, was not canceled for two days. So we conducted the uh, tsunami field uh, survey uh, to see what happened uh, around the coast and uh, getting the information of the tsunami record uh, and the tsunami height. We tried to make a simulation, uh, as you can see, uh, generation and the propagation uh, to the sandic area uh, in the first uh, here, uh, around 20 or 30 minutes. So you can see the big tsunami amplification in the bay. Uh, here, Fukushima, uh, where nuclear power plant is located and very much affected by the tsunami. And the Sendai city is located. Those area in the south uh, was not tsunami, tsunami prone area. But this time, the uh, earthquake so large extended to the south area and the tsunami affected uh, around here. So now almost one and a half hours passed, uh, tsunami uh, traveling and propagating to the other area and uh, inundated and land up and uh, coming back to the uh, this ocean area. So we can see the big oscillation for long time, long time. So this is the table uh, of the historical tsunami in Tohoku uh, offshore the Pacific Ocean. Uh, we have the database uh, to check the historical document and some uh, report. So reach to this more than thousand years back. And we have uh, such kind of the catalog and for the tsunami assessment. And uh, we make a hazard map according to the historical data. So this is the uh, map at the Ofunato uh, in Sandiku area and Sendai city. So blue one is the uh, hazard map before the 2011 by using the uh, historical data. However, uh, 2011 Tohoku earthquake tsunami was so large. So uh, the inundation area more than two times or three times uh, than the estimated uh, hazard area. So this is the uh, kind of limitation of the, our historical data for 400 years. So as I mentioned, the Japanese uh, meteorological agency issued a tsunami warning uh, very shortly uh, after detecting the uh, earthquake uh, within the three minutes and provide tsunami height and arrival time. So this is the uh, series of the information. Uh, first tsunami information was issued uh, just three minutes after. This is four, uh, 14 o'clock, uh, 49 minutes uh, with the information with the magnitude 7.9. Actually, this magnitude was so underestimated uh, because the earthquake itself for, uh, continued for three minutes. But uh, at the time, JMA uh, get the data of the earthquake only a few seconds. So that's why they cannot cover the whole earthquake. So uh, this is why uh, of the underestimate. The tsunami uh, forecasting system very much depending on the magnitude in the beginning. 
So six meter in Miyagi prefecture estimated and three meter um, uh, in the north, uh, Iwate and the south, uh, Fukushima uh, also uh, predicted. But it was so small, uh, much smaller than the actual tsunami. It sometimes exceeds 30 meters. So it is very underestimated. So, but uh, by using the real time observation uh, to detect the tsunami at the time by the GPS sensor uh, on the floating buoy. So we can get such kind of information of the real tsunami. Uh, that's why the JMA can change or update the tsunami height uh, from the six meter to met, uh, three, uh, six meter to 10 meter or three to six meter. So uh, time by time, the information is updated. But uh, at the time, uh, tsunami is, uh, warning is issued, but too late for the people. So this is a big problem uh, and issue for us. So we try to improve uh, by installing the uh, tsunami as well as the seismic uh, sensor uh, or shore around the Tohoku area. So 150 sensors are connected by the fire cable uh, under the sea. So anywhere and anytime uh, earthquake happen and tsunami generated, we can uh, observe and detect the uh, dots uh, for the uh, tsunami warning. So it is one of, I think, uh, most advanced and dense uh, and good system, uh, I think, in the world. But this is very special. Only uh, in Tohoku, uh, that system is available. So other area, we have very limited information with the tsunami uh, real time uh, histories. So we try to uh, utilize or apply the new way by using the AI, artificial intelligence, to support instant tsunami prediction. So by using the such kind of input data, uh, and we calculate many cases with the scenario, uh, AI uh, try to learn many, many, and get the, some kind of the output. So even the input data is limited, uh, we can use the AI and to get the uh, tsunami waveform uh, very accurately. So recently, we uh, can submit the paper, and it was accepted uh, recently, uh, which title is the early forecasting of the tsunami inundation uh, from tsunami and geothetic observation data uh, with a combinational uh, neural network, it is AI. So this is the coastal area of the Tohoku, and we have the observed data. And we have a new uh, detecting system in the other time. So we uh, will, uh, apply the new way uh, with the AI to the case of 2011 uh, Tohoku earthquake tsunami. So one of the results is the sens sensitivity analysis uh, for the convolutional neural network with a different observation time with and without uh, uh, geodetic data. So earthquake and change the land form and uh, sea bottom and ne next uh, tsunami is generated. So we utilize such kind of the data. So red area is uh, important data for the other time uh, forecasting around here. So time by time, this uh, area uh, become the large, but not so big. So even we have big system, but uh, we can utilize uh, this area. And this figure showing the accuracy, accuracy uh, of the uh, estimated tsunami. So actually 10 minutes uh, or 20 minutes, 30 minutes later, uh, let uh, form is the predicted uh, tsunami wave form. And cross are uh, observed data on the line, on the uh, land, sorry. 
and uh, left hand side, uh, right hand side, it is observed the tsunami fall. So time by time, uh, we can get good uh, prediction data uh, with observed one. So this is a good uh, demonstration of the utilized AI, I think. So after the 2011, uh, Tohoku University uh, established a new uh, research institute. It is called the IRIDES, International Research Institute of the Disaster Sciences, uh, with the uh, principle to promote the world leading research on the natural disaster uh, through the learning from the Tohoku earthquake tsunami uh, to contribute the regional recovery in Tohoku and also uh, other countries uh, internationally and to set international paradigm on the uh, disaster management studies we try. And the mission is based upon the uh, a practical disaster management cycle uh, like this. Uh, before the disaster happened, uh, after that, uh, we have the emergency response and the recovery and the reconstructions. So each stages, we should have the, some issue uh, to uh, response. Uh, we have some kind of problem and we have the good practice and we try to uh, the uh, implement, uh, get the, such kind of information for the implementations. So this is the uh, our research in the division of the seven and 37 the field uh, from natural sciences and engineering and human and social sciences with medical doctors, medical sciences. So this is very interdisciplinary. So now we have the 60 faculty members uh, and <clears throat> 30 the student. So this is the one of the example of the reconstruction process at the Sendai. So this is the situation of the attack of the tsunami. Uh, and this is before uh, the attack of the tsunami uh, in uh, Sendai. So actually, the Mr. Date uh, Samurai had a similar experiences uh, 400 years ago uh, in uh, 6001. Uh, so they have the big damage by the earthquake tsunami, and he uh, prohibited people to live along the coast. And uh, the, uh, they put the green belt pine tree or that uh, to protect the, this area. So we followed the idea of the Mr. Date. Uh, we have, we try to utilize uh, the green area, uh, but we constructed this time seawall, but as uh, lower as possible. Um, but behind them, we utilize the natural uh, resources. And we also uh, utilize infrastructure of the highway elevated, and we constructed the uh, tsunami shelter. Uh, in this area. And one of the research activity is the uh, some kind of new maker simulation. So this is the example uh, of our uh, result. So this is the typical uh, Sandik Bay uh, in Tohoku. Uh, tsunami was generated and coming uh, from the bottom uh, and uh, the front of the tsunami uh, going inside of the bay. So uh, this is very good uh, scenery uh, with the green belt. It is the pine tree and 70,000 pine tree uh, uh, at the time planted uh, at the time. But the tsunami reached to uh, here and inundated and erosion uh, we observed and uh, change the uh, topography and the geometry and reach to the city uh, of the uh, Ofunato. So fully inundated and after that, the negative wave coming. Uh, so we, have, we can see the back uh, current of the tsunami and the receded wave uh, you can, we can observe. And again, there's some kind of erosion uh, we observe. So this is the new uh, modeling uh, of the tsunami, uh, including the uh, tsunami sediment 
process. So uh, that by using such kind of numerical technique, uh, we try to contribute to international society uh, with the United Nations and the adult. So as um, might you know, the World Tsunami Awareness was started uh, after the 2011, and we support the tsunami evacuation drill, uh, and we uh, make a kind of the, uh, some brochure uh, for the awareness. And also contribute the make a model uh, for the real time uh, the warning uh, by using the a good observation data with AI. So after the 2011, uh, we have the international conference uh, for disaster risk reduction at the Sendai by United Nations. So this is the series of the disaster risk reduction conference uh, from Yokosuka, uh, Yokohama, sorry, uh, Hyogo and Sendai uh, held in uh, 2015. So in the same year, we have the SDGs and the Paris Agreement. So three agenda, including the Sendai, Sendai framework for DRR uh, are very much uh, important now. Uh, it is very uh, good uh, uh, purposes, uh, international collaboration until 2030. So this is the, uh, the outline of the Sendai framework, uh, several outcome and seven global target and four priority actions. So this is the one of priority, uh, which is the build back betters in recovery process and rehabilitation and reconstruction. Even though we have the big damage by the earthquake tsunami, uh, we try to enhance the, our safety uh, by uh, introducing the, uh, some the multi-layer protections. So some artificial uh, structure, uh, seawall, or utilize green infrastructure, and utilize the highway and other. So this is good for the tsunami, as well as the storm surge and flood. So this is, I, we hope this is a good example uh, of the resilient, resilient, resilient city uh, for the uh, other countries. This is the situation of the tsunami, uh, from the tsunami at the Sendai. Uh, this area uh, is, was again the prohibited to the, the people and utilized for the industries and some green area for the farming and then the residential area a little bit back inside of the uh, cities. And we utilize the highway uh, with the steps so people can easily go up uh, to the highway. And this is also uh, shelters uh, for the people to evacuate in the case. So thank you very much for your attention. So maybe, maybe you have the question or <laughs> uh, some suggestions. So you are very much welcome. And thank you very much uh, for your attention again. Thank you very much, Professor Imamura. Uh, thank you uh, uh, also summarizing uh, in a uh, on-time presentation uh, from uh, huge experience uh, from Japan, uh, from uh, uh, very uh, old times. Uh, from uh, I, uh, very old times. Thank you very much. So uh, we are waiting for questions uh, from the uh, participants, uh, either from YouTube, I also follow YouTube, uh, or, or I also follow uh, chat uh, uh, part. Is there any question from uh, participants mm -hmm. to Professor Imamura? Uh, if we, there is not any questions, I would like to ask a question, some information uh, from Professor Imamura. Uh, there are tsunami breakwaters uh, and there are some uh, gates, uh, closing gates uh, in some parts of Japan. Uh, do you, you summarize your experience about these tsunami breakwaters and uh, gates closing river mouths? Uh, closing the river, river, river mouth, yes. Uh, river mouth, okay. Yes. Yeah. So actually, uh, we have the breakwater, the 
uh, in the river, sometimes it's not calm. So we need a, a gate. But uh, sometimes we need a closer gate in the case of the earthquake happened. But the uh, people, especially the uh, firemen, uh, have to go to the shoreline or coastal area to the cross. So it is very much danger. So now we introduce or uh, install the automatic close system after detecting the earthquake. So, but this is very uh, advanced, but very high cost. So still we have the limitation to install such automatic system. So otherwise, tsunami can uh, enter the rivers and the crack in the backside. Thank you very much, Professor Laura.